Hello everyone, it's December 11th, 2012. It's Tuesday. It's Harp Tuesday! And this episode, I thought I would go back to the basics. And it's actually, of course, been almost two years since I did your first harp lesson and talked about some of the basics, very basics of playing the harp and what motions and mechanics we use. And so I thought I'd try doing uh, in another episode, sort of on that same topic of, of just the basic motion, try to get some nice close-ups. I was hoping to try to maybe get a camera angle where it's as if you're sitting there, you know, it's right where my head is, it's as if you're looking at the fingers. Wasn't really able to get that to work, maybe I'll try it another time, but anyway, let's see what we can do. So, the, the sort of the building block of harp technique is uh, the idea of closing the fingers into the palms, and let me see if I can just this a little bit. Um, so this, your, your fingers just closing and making sure that it, they're not, um, that it's a full, full close so that basically we have this, you know, this nice angle and this angle and that these knuckles aren't curling in. So not, you know, this obviously I guess is closing the hand too, but more like a fist, whereas what I'm talking about is, is closing just at this knuckle and this knuckle and that these final little knuckles aren't really doing anything, that we're just whoop, closing nicely, boom, down into the palm. And the same thing, of course, with the left hand. And that's something you can just practice anytime you got a moment when you're not using your hands just that feeling and so for me of course it feels that feels really nice it feels uh, you know I do that all the time in terms of playing the harp I'm always closing my hands so it feels very natural and, and you and it is a, fair, a quite a natural movement but um, just practicing it and making it feel as smooth and easy as possible and you can see the thumb is also just wrapping around the fingers a little bit we'll talk about the thumb later um, sorry for this uh, angle it looks like I'm getting a little cut off but anyway so that is the real building block and for example just a single note then is that same idea that same motion of closing nicely into the palms and let me actually try let's let's get some let's get a little bit closer in uh, okay so here it's some right hand single notes so you can see the whole hand is closing and then opening up and this is very important because so often there will be a tendency for these last few fingers to want to curl or maybe to to stay curled in or to curl up and that even when you're just playing a single note a single finger that the whole hand is opening up and they're all, you can see they're all sort of in a similar line, just that natural way that one has hand opens up and then closes. So and also thinking about the angle that the finger is on the string, that you don't want it to be this angle where your your finger is parallel to the floor you want if anything almost to be pointing down with this part of the finger not the whole finger you don't want the whole finger to be pointing down which is awkward but once we bend here at this first this well second knuckle I guess that we're kind of using the edge of our our finger we're not using the, the sort of the flat tip where we're using the side and and pointing down towards the soundboard and, and again that idea for example when you play four it's not curling up which again the the, the further fingers down they always have a tendency to want to curl rather to 
will generally not curl, but as you get down to three and especially four, there can be a tendency to want to, to curl them up and just let it gravity take its course, let them relax naturally and then open up and, and the pinky comes along. It's not getting caught in here or where you're playing three, you know, four and the pinky are coming, coming, opening up as well. Again, to me, it's, it almost feels like little hammers or something like that. You're, you're the mechanism in the piano that the fingers are just hammering down and closing nicely. And obviously, there are some positions where, you, you know, we can't, if we're playing three, we don't want to try to force it all the way into the palm because that's kind of uncomfortable. But we're going as far towards the palm as is comfortable. And the final thing is, is this wrist movement. So we have this lovely closing action. And then when we come off the string, once we get to a section where we're no longer connecting, so, you know, here we still got fingers on the string, still got fingers on the string, now gonna come off. It's this little motion. I call it a wrist motion, but the wrist isn't moving in space. It's that we're hinging at the wrist and the knuckles are, are moving up. It's like you had a little string leading from all these knuckles that, that's going in that direction. That's, you know, the knuckles are being pulled by these strings in that uh, sort of uh, up and away from you. And, and that the arm, you know, obviously there's gonna be a, maybe a little natural movement, but that it, it could, if it were clamped in place, for example, that you're still able to do this wrist movement. So the, let's, uh, you know, the wrist movement is, is quite important, but even more important is just that closing of the fingers, closing of that right into the palm and that basic building block um, uh, of, tech, of the technique. So let's let's turn to the thumb now because the thumb is, the, the fingers, are, I, I think I mentioned this before probably, uh, the fingers are, it's kind of a natural movement. It's a nice, fairly easy motion. The thumb is a little trickier and let's get zoomed in here again. So with a thumb, we're playing the thumb and it's, it's, whereas we can think of the finger as moving basically in one direction, down towards the palm. And it just so happens that by doing so, it plays the string nicely. Whereas the thumb, we're having to move in this direction a little bit, but we also have to move in that direction a little bit to get away from the string. And so, I like to use a little bit of this um, this first joint, but a lot of this second joint. So you can see that it's not it's not this motion where we're kind of pushing with with the with the sort of the base of the thumb. We're not we're not pushing. We're Kind of closing it, it's wrapping around the finger here. And of course, if it, you're playing the thumb just by itself, not connected, you can do this same little wrist movement. Uh, can you see that? Let's see.
So I'm just gonna, because I think the main purpose of this episode is just to try to get some some nice footage, uh, because it can be so helpful just to just to see someone uh, playing in in a close up and uh, let's. So let me just try some left hand ones and see see how that turns out. So again, this thumb and I'm not sure how well that's showing up, but this this, this sort of wrapping around motion. To, to remember to pay attention to as, as you're practicing are first of course that that idea of closing into the into the palm and, and not curling right so that you're not you're not making a fist it's not like you're going you're, you're just closing down and that it's these first part of the finger that's doing the work first couple parts of the finger that if we didn't have this joint we'd still be able to play and also the, the finger angle so that you're not, it's not parallel to the floor, that you're pointing down as much as is comfortable using the side of the finger. The thumb wrapping around that it's not, it's not this bigger motion it's a fairly contained action. And then this little bit of wrist movement as you come off the string, or, or the, this little bounce. And then that hand just naturally can open up, fall back down, and play a game. So I think it's always you know, can always be interesting to just go back, play something quite slow, something that you're familiar with, or just some chords or scales, whatever. And watch yourself think about these things, uh, because oftentimes as, as we're playing and learning new music and it, there's so much going on, right? There's so much to pay attention to. So it can be quite helpful to take something really slow, not worry too much about the notes and just pay attention to my closing really nicely. Even when it's four, for example, is that not curling up? Is it closing? Um, am I trying, am I trying to use the side of the fingers? Am I pointing down? And am I doing a nice little wrist motion? So hopefully that was helpful. Um, I'm hoping that the, the zoom-ins turned out reasonably well. And uh, I will see you again in two weeks' time. Cheers.